Hello there, I'm Janko with more Pokemon with more Pokemon Diamond Walk the Guide Redux. In the last part we took on Route 203. Or 202 actually. Uh, I miss I was off by a number. Or I had by a number. Yeah. Anyway, let's walk into the Jubal Life, Jubal Life City. Hi Steven, are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you'd feel a lot safe if you were to catch some more. In Jubal Life City, there's the Trainer's School, which, well, you know. Steven, you should visit it. You, you'll you get some good tips on Pokemon. Oh yes, Sam went to the Trainer's School earlier. Okay, bye now. Okay, Don, being so judgmental, I mean, I'll catch- I'm probably gonna catch- I'm probably gonna catch another Pokemon in this part. Okay? Um, do I need a heal? I think I may have to. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal just to make sure. So, yeah, let's just go to this Pokemon Center. And I guess from now on, if it's like, on, if I need to do something inside a Pokemon Center, I'll start cutting them out too, when I go in them to heal Pokemon and stuff, just to save a bit of time. So, that's the plan. I have to use this old editing style with Pokemon RPG games that I like with the 8 badges and all that within the whole region and stuff. Um, over here is the GTS station place I bet. Yeah, okay, past here is the GTS which stands for Global Trade Station. Oh, I'm sorry, but you don't have any badges. The GTS is off limits if you don't have any badges, sorry. Yeah, the GTS, the Global Training Station, you can't use anymore because again, Nintendo cut the Wi-Fi support for DS games such as Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, specifically. So we can't do any of that anymore. Okay, oh look, there's Sam. Let's talk to him. Hey Steven, did you come to study too? I went and memorized everything that was on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So Steven, what brings you, huh? You got something for me? Steven delivered the parcel. I delivered the parcel. Uh, so what is this? A score, it's a town map, huh? Why are there two in here? I guess I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Steven, you can take one. How nice, he gives me this town map. Okay. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Orenburg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. So, yeah. I think if you go to the blackboard... Um, you can read about poison, paralysis, sleep, frozen burn, but we all, I already know about that, so I'll just skip out on it. I'm gonna face those two, uh, I'm gonna battle those two trainers in the corner later, but not now. So here's the guy, he's like all shocked. What's with this Metal Gear Solid reference? I'm just kidding. The reference is all around here. Oh, 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 you call yourself a Pokemon trainer and you have no Poketch? That is Poke Pokemon Watch, for, or Poketch for short. Oh, oh my, indeed, you are you are a rare case, indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Now that I am conducting the Pokedex promotional campaign, all, all you have to do is find three crowns in Jude Wife City. If you can find them, I will gift you with a Poketch. Okay. Let's talk to the okay we found one. Hi, I'm a Poketch campaign clown. Let's roll on with my on my question. Uh, does Pokemon go by defeating others and getting experience points? Yes. Ding dong, you're absolutely correct. Pokemon go stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Some Pokemon even grow into an entire different form in a process known as evolution. Here you go, your Poketch coupon. You got coupon one. Goody, nice. Okay. Uh, the second one, okay, this is the third coupon guy, which I don't know why, because I always hit, got, hit talk to this guy second, but whatever. Hi, I'm the Pokedex campaign coin. Let's move on to my question. Can the Pokemon hold an item? Yes. Ding dong, you're absolutely correct. A Pokemon can hold a single item. Some items become effective as soon as they are held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten by Pokemon as necessary during battle. Here you go, your Pokedex coupon. Pokedex, yeah, coupon three. Why isn't it coupon two? Because most people probably go to that con second. It's just, what the heck, man? Okay, let's talk to this guy. Hi, I'm a Pokedex campaign clown. Let's roll on my let's roll on my question. Just like Pokemon types, the moves of Pokemon also have types? Yes, that's true. Ding dong, you're absolutely correct. If your Pokemon types matches its moves type, the, more, the move is made such more powerful. That's called same type attack bonus, uh, which I explained in the last part. 
Here, here you go, your, coupon, your Pokech coupon. Coupon number two. Okay. Yeah. Cool. If you talk to this guy, he'll give you the old rod. Yes, sir, an old rod is a good thing. You think the... You think so too? Am I right? Yes. Yes, good answer. We can be friends. Uh, here is so you can take my old rod. Which old rods can only catch magic hope. So keep that in mind. Yeah, he explains how to use it in water, but um, yeah, I don't need that. I don't need to um learn how to do that because I already know. In platinum, is an item right here, probably like an X accuracy in platinum. But in Diamond and Pearl, there's no items, and we can't really go on past this water. Like we can't swim in this game, so. I kind of have to go back. So we'll go back to this place later. Okay, so um, what I want to do is head north now to do a little bit of extra training on the next route. So why not do that? Also, by the way, um, I'm going to show you uh, how to get the quick call. But first, I want to actually go in here. The person on the left usually sells special Pokeballs. So like a heel ball, for example, I think this is only, yeah, a male and heel, male and heel ball. Now heel ball is, okay, so it's like a pokeball. It's just like the same effects as a pokeball, but when you catch the Pokemon, it heals the um, Pokemon when you catch it. So you don't have to go into the Pokemon Center to, um, you know, um, heal it up. But um, if you already have six Pokemon and you catch your six Pokemon, another Pokemon with a heel ball, the Pokemon already goes to the PC, which automatically uh, restores its HP and power points so it's really not worth buying it's just really not worth buying in my opinion I thought that it'd be cool if like every time you call back a Pokemon it would heal up your Pokemon completely that'd be really cool that'd be worth buying it but um it'd be more expensive too but it's just not worth it so I just point that out let's go to the other side of the and buy some items I guess um I'll buy another potion well I should save my money actually I don't know I'll be good items. I am should be good items, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I'm looking for a wild Pokemon in this um, route, so my first official party member Pokemon search is on for this Pokemon. Over here is a Paralseal, I think. Yes, Paralseal. I was right, nice. So let me find that Pokemon if I can. That wasn't it. Hope we can find it. Oh man, if it's nighttime. Sorry, my commentary got a cut cut off there. Um, I, what is what I was gonna say is um, I it might not appear at night, but it still might appear at night. I don't know. We'll have to see. Still looking for it though. There it is, a Badoo. Yes, I'm using a Badoo, uh, for this for this run or playthrough. So this for this walk the guide. Um, so yeah. Um let's use scratch. I don't want to use Ember on it, because Ember could one shot this thing. So uh man. Okay, um Yeah, I'm gonna just go for the Pokeball. Well, let's hope we can catch this. It's that well, it has a little less than half its health left, but I don't know. Bedu's catch rate is high, but I don't know how high that is. Two, three. Yes, we caught it. The awesome. Yes, out of the Pokedex. Awesome. Over the winter. Okay, uh, first of all. Okay, number twenty-five in the Sinnoh Dex. Um, Bedu. Bud Pokemon, Grass Poison, uh, height is 8, eight inches, weight is, it weighs 2.6 pounds, its footprint is a little dot thing. Um, over the, the winter, it closes its bud and endures the cold in spring, the bud opens and releases pollen. Also, um, one thing to um, progress in this game to get to the after game, which I know is a long ways from now, but uh, I should mention this is that um, you can, you um, complete your Pokedex by um, seeing every Pokemon in the Sinnoh Dex. You don't have to catch every Pokemon in the Sinnoh Dex because you know there's version exclusives too, which is hard if you don't tr if you don't trade with um, any of any other games or friends with heck, who have any other games, the opposite game I should say. But yeah, I should mention that now. Um, yes, I want to give it a name. Let's nickname it. Um, Um, let's see, it evolves into a Rose Raid. So, 
Let's just nickname it Rose. Because it's a female Badoo and it evolves into Rose, right? So Rose is good. Let's see its stats on this thing. Okay, let's switch that. And... I didn't get the Pokedex. Poketch, did I? Still yet. I didn't do that yet. Huh. I must have slid my mind. Yeah, um, let's talk- let's see its summary real quick though. Um, bug, uh, grass poison, the bashful nature, um, quickly tempered, natural, natural cure. Um, its special defense is really good. Its speed is pretty good too. Absorb and absorb and growth. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna put it in French just so I get some experience. I'm gonna do the old switcheroo trick. Yeah, I still didn't get the Pokedex or Poke. No, I still don't get the Poke Etch. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, you just purposely got my way there. So let's talk to the guy. Oh, let me see. You count your coupons. Let's use. I'll use the Poke Etch here. Well, there's a counter app on the Poke Etch, but you really need to use the counter app to count to three. Okay, one, two, three, bravo. I say bravo. Uh, in return of these coupons, I present you with this Pokemon watch. Or Poketch for short. Yeah, I received the Poketch. Yes, yes, thank you. Don't care about the rest of your dog, apparently. So let me switch to, um, the app I love the most. We got the time clock right there. We got a calculator right here. We got a count, a uh, pedometer, which is how many steps you take, which is counting up right now. Um, we got, this is my favorite app right here, which just says Pokemon and the health and all that. Um, time again, that's all, that, we'll get more apps as the, as the journey goes on, but for right now we have like five. But I like this app the best because it shows you the health of your Pokemon, and if you click on, um, your Pokemon's name, uh, it, it, you, you can hear their cry. There's Bidoof's cry, Bidoof's cry, here's Buddoof's cry, there we go, and here's Chimchar's cry. So yeah, let me go to the Pokemon Center. I'm going to heal real quick. Okay, so we're going to finally battle some trainers on this north route of Juve Live, which is about 205, 204. I'm always ahead by one or behind by one on the route number. Okay, here's this last. Okay, oh, a weak a weak weak trainer, do you want to have a go? I have three Pokemon with me, so yeah. And two Pokemon are going to be my all-stars, I guess you could say. You only have one Pokemon. Okay, I have a Bidoof. A Bidoof. I keep on saying Bidoof when I mean Bidoof. So, yeah, this one's level 7 though. I'm gonna do the little switcher trick and switch to Inferno. Best thing to do, I guess, just to get do some experience or Rose some experience. Yeah. Tackle, attack. Okay, let's see how much this does. 2 HP, 3 HP. Okay, cool. Just Ember on this thing. Okay, it's gonna just tackle again, so I have 22 HP unless it gets critical hit. Yep, I was right. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Grell, okay. Ember, again. Let's go to level 5, yes. And Inferno grew to level 10, nice. Okay, we'll talk to this guy who only has like magic cups or something. My dad gave me some Pokemon, they're gonna win for me. We'll see about that, youngster dude. Uh, what's your name, youngster? You have a specific name. Youngster Tyler. Cool. Yeah. Magikarp, huh? Okay. Whatever you say. Let's absorb this thing. See how much this does. Does one third, a little bit over one third. Yeah, it's gonna only use splash though, because Magic Cup at level 5 only knows splash. It doesn't even learn tackle to level 15. And it learns flail at level 40. Okay. Magic Cup, I almost regret 
not doing this battle at all, but we do still getting some experience since it's really early in the game. Magikarp have decent experience, I guess you could say, given out. Because it's so early in the game. It's before the, it's before the first gym badge, so. I don't know, but I just hate having to sit through this, you know? Just knock it out, knock it out. Starway next, okay. Let's just switch out when Starway comes out then and then go to Inferno. There we go. Get his quick attack, okay. Fine by me. Ember attack then. Right back at it. And it does about half or oh, over half. Cool. Against Growl, which only lowers my physical, which only lowers Inferno's physical attack. Not special, because Ember's special attacking, a special attacking move. But yeah. Ember attack, yeah, there we go. Where's good level 6? And we defeated youngster Tyler. Nice. And the, but that Pokemon. Okay, you, you, thanks for the sixty. Thanks for the eighty Poké dollars. But you, I couldn't read your dialogue because it went by too fast. Okay, we have another trainer battle. May I please trouble you for a battle? Why not? I'm battling everyone on this route, so why not? Go on ahead. But do okay. This one's level seven, I think. Yeah. My video is level 7, right? Level 6, okay, I was wrong. Okay, let's go to Pokemon then. Inferno can definitely have the- Inferno definitely has the type advantage this time. Against this Badoo. So that's good. Growth, okay, you're gonna lose your special attack. Fine by me. That means you don't do damage on me this turn, and I can just use Ember on you. Hopefully this can 1-8 KO it. We'll see. Will it 1-8 KO it? Aw, oh, so close. Okay, it's gonna use Groth again. Okay. But do I'm sorry, but you have to go down. I'm gonna use Scratch this. Oh man, I misclicked. I used Weir. I meant to use Scratch. Stupid D pad on the GameCube controller. Okay, it's Wise Pout weakens the power of Fire type moves. But my next move won't be a Fire type move. So. There we go, it's just Scratch. Okay. Let's go level 7. Let's then water sport. Land water sport. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just ran from that Bidoof. I wasn't really wanting to battle it for experience. It just didn't seem worth it to me, honestly. But that could maybe. A, that could be. Different in the future, like in the future, I might have to, I might regretting not fainting the Bidoof for Bidoof for um experience. There's a um escape rope. What was that? What was that item that I picked up? Um, it was. I'm not sure. An antidote, I think. Yeah, probably an antidote. But yeah, we can't move on there because um, I'll actually show in the message. So the message real quick. Um, it says a, a rugged rock, but a Pokemon may be able to smash it. So we can't really like, advance because we don't have that move or anything. So we have to kind of just go back. Kind of reach the dead end for now. No, I didn't want to do that. What I meant to say when I said no, I don't mean I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to run into wild Pokemon battle, but they're random encounters. You can't help it. Also, um, I forgot to show you guys the quick claw, so I'll do that now before I end the part. Um, right here. If you talk to this person right here, 
She'll say, oh, your Pokemon is quite adorable. Here, try this. Try making hold this quick claw. So yeah. I'm going to give that held item to Badoo for now. Just because Badoo is not always not the fastest right now. Pokemon that I have, of course. Yeah, let's get the quick claw. Yeah, okay. And let me just... Inferno up to the front. And one last thing is we're going to head to the Pokemon Center real quick. Okay, nice. So, we can just um, move on. But yeah, this will be the end of my Pokemon uh, Diamond Walkthrough Guide Walk the guide Redux part, and next part we'll take on whatever lies east of Judah Blythe City. So this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Walk the Guide Redux.